Hi, this is my cakey machine, Dendrobium of Film. And I am taking care of my cakeys like they're little babies because that's what they are. Cakey, Hawaiian word for baby, commonly used for the orchid hobby. When an orchid grows new babies on the mother plant. And here I am in cakey production mode. And what I'm doing is making sure that all my cakeys stay healthy and that I keep the roots happy that are growing because they are not ready to be harvested from the mother plant just yet. It might give the appearance that they're big enough because they've got roots growing, but there's another reason I'm not taking them off yet. I haven't prepared their mount yet. You see, that's the mother plant right here, busting her moves with new canes for next year. What I want to do is go up a level to the top of the gate there, right up there, create a mount with my hob material and some white PVC mesh. And all the keikis from my dendrobium of film are going to be pinned to that mount. And then eventually one year, one day, hopefully, become a curtain hanging down and down and down the way the mother plant is doing right here. So I'm glad that you're here because this is not the start exactly of my project. The start of my project starts in my head. Then I have to have the orchid do its thing. And in order to help the orchid do its thing in abundance, healthy, strong, without losing any keikis, is to maintain their health. And I missed a lot. This is now the third time I have missed it these keikis. This is plain RO water. I started off just misting the bare canes that had no sign at all of any kind of keiki growth with seaweed at 6.3 pH, 40 parts per million in RO water as a dilute nutrient mixture. And all I did was just mist the bare canes, no signs of keikis whatsoever. What I wanted to achieve was to encourage the canes that had snapped to produce more keikis for me than they normally would. Because as a general rule, you would get like maybe one or two keikis per cane on a dendrobium of film. I have snapped canes from a storm, four snapped canes. You can see the snapped one, the state of it, as opposed to the one that's not snapped. It's so much more fatter and healthier looking. So I was attempting to get more keikis out of a snap cane because it would be stressed and helping that along by always spraying it with a seaweed solution. 40 parts per million, 6.3 pH. It didn't exactly give me more keikis. I didn't get three or four on a snap cane as I was hoping to, but it's given me stronger keikis. In the past years, I've never maintained the canes of my dendrobium of films. I've never pushed them to produce keikis. They produce keikis naturally on their own, usually one per cane. That's normal. But what is not normal and what is totally different this year, let me go back to, no, let me get this one because I don't, I won't snap it when I bend it. It's a long one. What is not normal is how many roots I already have. That is not normal for me. And when I don't cultivate my keikis properly or do what I'm doing now with seaweed and plain RO water, etc., I would get a keiki and it would grow but never with roots like that, and not already being this big in July. Strong. That is a strong keiki. That's got a great, great cane coming out. Also, I do have multiple keikis on a snap cane. That could be because of the seaweed, but either way, they are big, strong. They're already rooted out. Look at the base of that one right there. That is a statement, if I may say so myself. <laughs> These ones are really stonking little keikis. And I'm probably getting another one over here. So I'm not stopping with the seaweed spraying, but I'm definitely not stopping with plain RO water. And this would be my third spray of the day. My conclusion here is I'm not getting more keikis because of the seaweed application, but I'm getting bigger, stronger, and more roots on my keikis than I've ever had before. And I've had a phenomenon as well, where a cane actually bloomed, just a single bloom, and produced roots. So the bloom has faded, the stalk has as well. I wonder if that's going to produce a nubbin and make it cakey, I do not know. But I've never had that before, so 
So that was out of season. And let me get you in a little bit closer because here's an example of what happened earlier as well. This would be my third out of season bloom. It's on a cakey. And that would not happen at all. There we go, that's a little cakey, stonking little roots, of course, growing straight into the mesh where I put a splinter to support the break. That's gonna be interesting to get that off, but it's bloomed. I'm sure that has something to do with the seaweed. Definitely those additional hormones are doing something a little bit more wacky, but I need those roots and then the little blooms are just an extra little touch of, that's sweet. <laughs> The other little cakeys that I have on my inorganic mount, I'll get them for you now. Because I want to show you the difference of the roots. These are the cakeys from last year that I harvested. And of course their roots, you know, went in, started to grow a little bit and then stopped as they do. These little cakeys are now producing their own cakeys. And you see that there's roots there as well, but they're not as predominant as what I have on the canes that I've been spraying with a lot, a lot of seaweed. Mind you, this little mount has already gotten a lot of seaweed as well, but not as much as the canes on the mother plant. As I mentioned, I started my spraying on bare canes, just with the seaweed to trigger nodes to grow me as many cakeys as possible. So these guys have had a lot, a lot of seaweed. There's a big, big difference. And I'm really happy. So. They're not ready to be harvested, even though they look strong, even though they have lots of roots. We still need to wait maybe another month. Unless I see roots starting to stress out, the hotter we get, I don't want the roots to dry up or shrivel. If I can't keep up and maintain them and keep them happy, then I'm going to harvest them. But I'm going to have to really hustle now to get my mount ready so that when it comes time to harvest the cakeys as they mature, I can already pin them to the mount and not have to wait because not every cakey will be mature at the same time. Let me show you this one. You see this one's still tiny, but it's already got roots. So you see that would have to wait. Others would be mature. Yep, I got to get my mount together. If I did a lot of repeating, I'm really sorry. I was trying to find the viewfinder, trying to make everything focus, but I hope that you understood that I'm really pushing hard on my little babies here to make sure that they're safe throughout the hotter months of the year, get mounted and become a little curtain eventually. And the fact that the seaweed in the water has helped a lot to get them looking like this, as opposed to how I had them last year. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I appreciate your time. Fingers crossed that these babies come out the other side okay and that an idea evolves and becomes something pretty in the long run. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Take care and stay safe. Bye.